Breaking news. The San Francisco 49ers sign another defensive edge rusher to add and pair together with Leonard Floyd, in which who they signed earlier today to a two-year $20 million deal. This time, it is a edge rusher with the Carolina Panthers. No, that is not Brian Burns. Brian Burns got traded today to the New York Giants and got extended and paid handsomely. But his running mate, Jaeger Yater Gross Matos. There we go. Uh, he is a former Penn State alum. He's 6'5", 265 pounds, former second round draft pick um, by way of the Carolina Panthers. Uh, again, he, he's still relatively young for the most part, uh, a little bit older than Brian Burns was. But last year with the Carolina Panthers, Yader was able to put up four and a half sacks and 19 total tackles throughout his career uh, with his four years with Carolina. He was able to put up 13 sacks um, last year was actually the highest sack production he had had in his career with the four and a half. Um, he only played in 12 games. And, uh, you know, he's he's been serviceable. Um, this is actually a, a guy that I've had my eye on for a while, just for the simple fact that he was drafted to the Carolina Panthers. And at that particular time, I'm a big fan of Brian Burns. So I knew who this guy was and I kind of paid attention to him. So to kind of give my super high level kind of scouting report on what I've seen from him on tape is he's built very similarly to Brian Burns in the sense of length, you know, six, five long arms. He's a little bit thicker pause than Brian Burns um, in regards to weight. And he doesn't have the same burst as Brian Burns um, off the line of scrimmage, but he does, he is serviceable. And again, I think uh, when you're trying, when we're starting to identify an archetype, you're starting to see it now with the San Francisco 49ers, with them going after Leonard Floyd and now Yader Gross Matos. Both guys, 6'5, 6'6, kind of in that 250 range, long arms, uh, kind of a more slender build. Um, again, this is kind of the archetype that I prefer kind of into the, in the new era of the NFL in regards to pass rusher, um, guys who can long arm, uh, come with a bunch of different pass rushing moves, have burst off the line. Again, uh, being a former second round pick in 2020 at a Penn State, uh, definitely had high hopes. I mean, this guy was 38th overall. He was nearly a first round draft pick. Um, from a production standpoint on the opposite side of Brian Burns, uh, was mediocre, I would say. Never really uh, showed those flashes and kind of some of that, that hype that he had throughout that pre-draft process. However, he does show an ability to, uh, you know, play well against tight ends, uh, hold the edge, uh, maintain... Uh, the edge on the line of scrimmage. Um, it, it's not a like awful signing at all by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and again, he signs for a dollar figure of uh, a two year, 18 million. So I, I would say that that's pretty on par with the kind of player that you're getting a serviceable player a guy that has a little bit of upside. Um, Brian Burns, light, 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 like in the sense of has some traits like Brian Burns, but ne isn't necessarily Brian Burns. Uh, I think one of the also the, the cool things about him is I could also see and envision him rushing over the guard potentially. Like if the 49ers wanted to add some, some weight to him and, and get him out on the edge or get him on the interior, 
that could absolutely be something that we're looking for. And in fact, why not? Let's show some tape. I just came across uh, this little clip that kind of shows uh, some of his capabilities. So let's take a look and we'll do a little quick self scout on the tape. So this is via Twitter, Eric Turner of Cover One. Uh, so we are looking at this guy right here. Uh, Yeter Gross Matus. So take a look. You can see him kind of shed that block. This is the one over the, the guard and the three tech. That's pretty impressive, his ability to create that interception. Um, that was nice. Again, over the guard. So this that that's where I see him actually being a benefit. And you see the motor right here that he has to keep going. The, the ability to run games on the interior. He's built. Oh, that's a nasty, nasty move right there. But that, see the spot over the guard. I like that for Yater. I don't love Yater as a pure speed rusher off the edge. Where I like and what I'm liking about these clips is him over the guard. Yes, he can hold up on the edge. But as you can see, that was CJ Beathard. Took him a little while to get down CJ Beathard down. You see the bull rush there. He's got power. He's got size. He's got the requisite uh, ability to move and get after it. Uh, so I think for two years, $18 million, and a guy who has inside-out versatility, uh, I think that's pretty good. Uh, again, he's not going to be a big-time sack production guy, but as you can see in a lot of these clips, he does provide value in the run game, and I think that's a, a big emphasis here is that he is kind of like Cleveland Farrell in the sense that Cleveland was, has never been a prototypical pass rusher, but he's been phenomenal in the run game. And if you look at most of these clips, they're him disrupting the run. So I think that's what you're getting with Yater. I don't think you're getting a pure speed pass rusher, but rather a a guy who can rush the passer over the guard in the three tech and be a edge setter in the run game. Uh, that's, I mean, where I'm seeing this guy pop off the tape. So again, that's what we need that the San Francisco 49ers need someone who can set the edge, who can be a force in the run game. Uh, this is a great cut up to kind of really pull what this guy can do. Um, I like it. I like it. I mean, this is what we need. We need a guy who can make plays in the run game. It, it, and so you kind of look at the combination of both Leonard Floyd and Yater Gross Matos combined. And if, if you got Yater and base downs, you could potentially kick him inside on pass rushing downs, uh, bring in Leonard Floyd. Uh, that maximizes his ability and his value. Uh, so that could be something that is very, very interesting. And again, the pr the predominantly these highlights are run stuffing plays. And I think that's a perfect way to describe him and what I remembered of him coming out of Penn State. It was never that he was a pure pass rusher. It was that he could make plays in the run game. And you can see he is athletic. But he doesn't have that burst, that elite burst like Brian did to be able to get after and affect the passer. But honestly, not a bad move. Not a bad move. I, I, I think this is a good one, especially at the cost and the value. Not bad. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.